Bed bugs are insects. Uh, they're, they're small creatures that, uh, they're nest parasites, and our homes are nests. And they parasitize us when we revisit our own nests. They live in upholstered furniture and beds, mattresses, and they feed on human blood. They bite people at night when they're sleeping. Uh, when they first hatch out from an egg, they're about the size of a poppy seed, give or take a little bit. Uh, when they're full size, they're about a quarter of an inch long from the tip of the head to the tip of the, uh, the back of the body. Uh, they're fairly flat, thus they can squeeze into little cracks and crevices when they need to, uh, but they plump up a bit after they take a blood meal. Um, if you find them in your house, um, if you're waking up at night with bug bites, <laughs> um, it's very important to vacuum the mattress thoroughly, to wash all of the bedding in hot water and put it in the dryer for about an hour, um, and then to put a vinyl cover over the mattress, a zippered vinyl cover. Occasionally, bed bugs may be hitchhiking on the furniture. They don't come, uh, they don't, they're not produced within the manufacture of the furniture, but the furniture that you get may have come from someone else's home that could have been infested. Uh, it may have been in a moving van or delivery van in which uh, infested furniture uh, also had been transported. One of the major things we need to look for while doing bed bug control is try to figure out how the bed bugs came in. And an instance I had this year is the, um, we treated a whole building. It was a multi-unit building. We treated the whole thing for bed bugs. We did our first treatment, our follow-up treatment, and our last treatment, and we deemed the whole building free of bed bugs. I got a call six months later from the building saying they had an instance in one of the units where they found live bed bugs again. Went back to the building, went into the unit, and was dumbfounded to see that there was a whole bunch of new items that had been in the room. Now what came to, from, we found out was that the lady had taken her items from her room, put them into storage while the treatment was going on. We treated the room three times and came back and she came back with all her stuff from storage and brought the bed bugs back. So the reinfection occurred again because she had brought all her bed bugs back into the unit. On my arms they start uh, little bites, red spots. Then I went back to the doctor and he could not say what was. He gave me a cream, I, I used the cream, then but was getting worse. Then I, I went back to him and I say, this is not work, what is that? And he, he say, I don't know. And I say, do you think it's any um, bug, bad bug, something like that, because I heard about and then he say, um, I don't know, uh, maybe it's mosquito bite, but I'm, I'm not sure. Then I was, um, later that day I came home and I get a, one a newspaper and was there one um, um, picture of the bad, uh, bad bug and, uh, and I read the, the information, then I call the number and the lady came to my house and helped me, and yes, I did have bed bug. So I have to throw everything out. I put ketchup on a mattress so nobody could get her, and I put everything out and put a medication there, and now I'm all set. I don't have any more. Uh, so be wary of furniture that you find on the street, uh, students in particular. Uh, I remember back when I was a student, a uh, poor hungry student, uh, an old mattress on the street might have been much nicer than what I had in, in an apartment or a dormitory, uh, and I wouldn't give it a second look today. But back then, it might have been uh, something I, that I had uh, considered valuable. Well, the university had a procedure in place in case any bed bugs happened, since in San Francisco there's an epidemic for bed bugs, and so they had this procedure in place, and they had to fumigate both our apartment and the two apartments that were bordering us in case it had spread. In the meantime, there had only been this one bed bug that they had found, and we couldn't figure out if there were any more, um, but my roommate decided to sleep elsewhere, and we had to put all of our furniture and all of our belongings in the middle of the room and put um, 
a blanket over it and then leave our mattresses out for the fumigators to come in and fumigate our mattresses as well as all along the perimeter of our room and living room as well. And in addition to doing that, we had to take all of our clothes and all of our bags and everything and wash all of them in hot water to kill any type of bed bugs that we could have brought in possibly from the outside of the apartment. Bed bugs don't travel on people, but they can hitchhike 